happy vlog week 13. I can't believe I've been vlogging for 13 weeks. That's not even including Vlogmas as well. So I've actually been vlogging a bit longer. If you guys saw last week's vlog, you guys will know how sad I've been feeling the last couple of days. I'm so thankful for anyone that opened up their heart to me and just listened to me cry and was there for me. So it's a new week, guys. I am gonna be trying to get my shit together this week. I basically have so much stuff which makes me feel really, really anxious. My house is way too small to be hoarding all this stuff. So I just need to let go. I don't know where it is, guys. I feel like because I didn't come from much, obviously the job that I have now, I get all these amazing things sent to me and I just feel so guilty for ever throwing anything away. I talk to some bloggers and I'm like, what do you do with all the products that you have? And they literally tell me like, I just chuck them in a bin sometimes. And I'm like, I could never do that. So this week I'm gonna be trying to do a big clear out, a bit of a spring clean. Anyways, this morning me and Gwang are actually heading off to my sister's house because with the whole coronavirus and everything that's happening, we're trying to sanitize everything. And this appointment with Jules Passion has actually been booked in ages ago before this whole coronavirus. And they're actually still running their business, which I'm so happy for. Any business that are still running and still trying to go during these crazy times, I just want to support. I'm going to be leaving their links all in the description box if you guys love your cars please go check them out they basically come to you you don't even have to interact with them you literally just give them your keys and they literally professionally clean inside and outside of your cars i haven't seen my sister since bruises passed away so yeah it'll be nice to have some cuddles with the doggies hello hello, hello. Oh, look. No, mommy's here. You need to say, oh, where's my? hello happy mother's day <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're saying happy Mother's Day to her Through the phone, she's stuck in Vietnam at the moment She's abandoned ship She's <laughs> saying that she's safer over in Vietnam than here This is the first time that I've seen a dog since Bruiser Chanel, did you miss me? Hello oh, I missed you Hello Chanel, I haven't cuddled a dog in ages It was so sad that day when Bruiser died I don't know whether they sensed it But they were not acting normal They were literally in their dreams They kept waking up and like shaking I'm like oh, oh the God. dogs really yeah so my car is so dirty at the moment I can't wait to get it cleaned I want to get it disinfected so look at all of this dirt it's literally like sand falling down here <laughs> oh my god literally it looks like a homeless person was living in the back of her car okay I'm gonna show you guys my sister's floor all of this she has definitely never cleaned inside of her car guys it is nasty okay so this is our car you guys see all the water stains it's got like pigeon poo over here with this car as well you had to physically touch the boot to open it and every time i touch it it's literally like grit all over your hands look at this bird poo here so excited for jules passion to get their hands on our baby and just clean it all up okay guys so we decided to do some good deeds while all this is going down as you guys are aware this coronavirus Everyone is being freaking stranded at home. We're self-quarantining. Yeah, and I feel like makeup is a lot of our passions, especially if you guys are following this channel, is mainly about makeup. Me and my sister love makeup, and we wanted to kind of utilize that and also give back at the same time. So my friend Jake Jamie started up this really, really good idea. He opened up a Shopify account, and he'd done these mystery bundle bags, and the proceeds go to food banks around the UK, and obviously my dog just recently passed away as well, so I'm also gonna be donating money to animal shelters. I'm literally gonna be splitting the money and donating it to different charities. So this week I'm gonna be doing a massive declutter and I have so many items that I've just swatched and we've hardly ever used it or like- Most of the items are brand new as well. And there's a lot of times where I literally just use a palette for a video and then a new palette comes in the next week and I just get so many products coming in. I know that these products will probably be better off at another home where you guys can actually love them yourself and utilize them. Yeah, we're gonna do different tiers of bags so the first one that we have is your basic bitch bag which <laughs> contains around about six items and then after that we've got a premium package which will contain 10 items yeah. and then we've got also a skincare bundle which contains five items skincare body care anything that's related to like self body care will be in 
that bundle. Yeah, and the and majority of it also will be like premium brands as well. And the final bundle that we have is the VIP bundle, which is very exclusive. They have run about 15 items in there and it's going to contain all premium products. That bundle is going to go out just like yeah. that. But we're only doing a couple of those uh, just to see how much it is because that one is obviously the most expensive one. That was going to be the good, good guys. And we're saying like six, ten, five items. There's going to be more. Just the minimum is that amount. It's literally like a mystery bundle bag. So you don't know what's going to be inside. So that's super exciting as well. It's literally like a lucky bag so me and my sister are going to be working on that all day today it literally took me so long to figure out how to work out the website and stuff like that and i had to pay money for the website so please go show your support even if you can't get a bag yourself maybe share it with your friends and you guys can go halves and split the goodies inside if you guys have ever been to my charity boot fairs you guys will know that i ain't stingy when it comes to stuff like this when it comes to giveaways i literally fill out the boxes and stuff so we've got a lot of products to go around and we just want to spread a bit of love and positive at this time and so does yeah. Chanel apparently yeah and we're doing it all for a good cause guys so if you're not buying it for yourself just think about where this money is going to it's going to for to a charity and it's all for good calls also guys these bags are very limited i'm literally just doing like a tester just to dip my toes in the water and if you guys like it then maybe we can make it more like a regular theme yeah. i also pay my sister to help me do this so guys i'm doing this out of my own pocket so and also charity to hong <laughs> yeah charity to hong. i'm sure she's gonna be going through like oh i want this okay guys so these are just the things that we're starting off with i literally have so many products here i actually get given loads of doubles especially when i go and press trip and a lot of the stuff i actually have already look there's tatcher in here we've got some benefit brow kits also have some glow recipes i literally have five of these at home like why does one person need five of them we've also got some uh, mitchell highlighter palettes we've got nars in here we've got loads of tatty lashes we've got fasali like some people would love this i literally have three of these at home so another thing that we want to know is most of the product i sent to twee is based on twee skin tone so you'll find that we won't have a quite a wide selection of different range colors so just bear that in mind while you're purchasing but we'll try and be as universal as possible so me and my sister we're going to try our hardest to do a special little thing for our youtube family so this isn't a promise at all so please don't be disappointed if we can't come through because we don't know how many orders we're going to get but if you are from the youtube family and you buy a bundle bag there's going to be a thing where you can put a special little message if you say that you're from the youtube family and maybe let us know what type of products you like or what skin tone you're kind of roughly in maybe in the matte terms that would really really help me out and I can try to customize the bundle bags specifically for my YouTube family if you don't mention that you're from the YouTube family you're just gonna get any random bundle bag but if you are like an NC45 and I maybe have a foundation that might go with your skin tone I obviously want to give you products that you're going to actually use as well because there's no point of you guys getting products that you won't use and then it will just be wasteful all around we're trying as much as we can to stop wastage that is also like a main thing why I want to do this whole scheme so let us know if you guys like lip products if you guys like eyeliners or if you need a new mascara then we can definitely try to like put Comment stuff that, yeah. like that in yeah so I'll show you guys roughly what the bags will look like. I literally just got them on Amazon. They are these little bags here. This is gonna be the standard 20 pound bag. And then these are gonna be the more premium bag. They're a bit bigger, so obviously you're gonna put some nicer stuff in there. I'm spending a lot of time out of my own day paying money to make the scheme happen. So there's not gonna be no refunds or exchanges because ain't nobody got no time to be handling that. Grang is already a bit annoyed at me because I'm basically taking on a lot more stuff than I can handle right now. That's it for the PSA. Me and is gonna get working now and hopefully get some cool bags together. Oh my God, guys, I have never seen my sister's car so white before it almost looks like a blue white now no you could literally sell your car for brand new now <laughs> i know i think this is even cleaner than when you bought the actual car and it smells good no doggy odor <laughs> here's grand's baby over here the bird poo has officially gone it is so shiny guys i can literally see my face in the reflection our car is so freaking shiny i have literally never seen the carpets this clean before doesn't our car smell so good Smells lovely. Okay, we are off home now. Guys, I'm crying again. I feel like, honestly, in every single vlog, I keep crying, but it's Sunday today, by the way, and we just uploaded our vlog of Bruiser, and it was so sad. Just reading everyone's comments, it's so sad, because 
everyone knows that feeling when you lose a pet. It's so sad because it's only been four days now and I feel like every single time I watch back the montage, every time I look at photos of Bruiser, I just feel so sad again. It's so hard to watch that last vlog as well. Every time we watch it, we kind of get upset about it, so... I think that's the last time we're going to watch it for a while. Every single time I listen to this song that I played on Bruiser's montage, it's called The Rest of Me from Zyke. I get it from Epidemic Sounds. Will I ever be happy again, this guys? I don't know. Me. I just feel so sad. Why did I do this to myself, honestly? I know that song will make me cry, but I still play it anyways. It's so weird, isn't it? Oh, I need to get my shit together. I can't just keep crying on all these vlogs. Like Good morning. We have the usual twee uniform on right now. Pajamas, hair in a bun. You guys know the deal by now, I'm sure. Okay, so today, I actually need to do something with my life because the last couple of days, I've honestly feel like I've been moping around, not doing anything. I've been on my phone, just wasting time. So the first thing that I, really want to do today is getting my jewelry in check i have way too much jewelry for my own good i still don't plan on ever stopping on buying jewelry i feel like i can honestly never have enough but at the moment it's gone so wild that i can't even find the matching pair to any of my earrings and that needs to stop so i need to actually go through all this detangle everything so i measured out the drawers and i bought four of these hopefully there will be enough so i'm going to put these velvet tray organizers inside of these drawers and then i can organize my jewelry in every single little pocket here okay so i just set the camera down hopefully you can see me i'm literally gonna empty out all of this jewelry oh, lovely look at all of this if only this was real gold guys i'd be a millionaire i've got so many loose earring backs here and also some broken studs like why do i need this here this is why my house gets messy though <laughs> if anyone used to work at mac you guys would know where this came from. <laughs> so here is the final draw. Oh my God, it looks so much better now that it's all organized. I need to find a little smaller one just to slide in this little gap here because these ones are too long. I can actually see everything, which is amazing. Oh my God, guys, I am so excited right now. I have always wanted to try a food prep company and a couple of my friends have tried this company and they said the food was so, so good and well seasoned. So I literally just got my order today from Scoff Meals. They basically send that food to your doorstep every single Sunday for the whole week. And I'm going to be trying out their food for the next couple of days to see if I like it. So this is firecracker salmon with sweet potato wedges. Grand's going to love that. We also got some garlic and chilli prawns with rice and broccoli. Oh my god, that is my meal that I'm going to have right now. So Grand just heated up my lunch. He literally put it in for four minutes. This is the chilli and garlic prawns and it looks so good. Look at the fucking queue to go to Asda. What the hell? Guys, it's so cold. Grant had to go and get Bruiser's blanket. This is the blanket that he passed away in, but it's so cold outside. Don't let the blue skies fool ya. I'm representing for the Asian nail shops. I do your nail. It'll let you have boyfriend. That's what I feel like with this face mask, guys. We've literally sat outside in the cold for 20 minutes and we're going in. You know when it's Black Friday, people rush into the store. That's what I feel like right now. McDonald's. KFC, Burger King, all the fast food places are shut down. And why is it when you can't have something, it makes you want it even more? I want more! I want McFlurries! I want McNuggets! I want everything under the sun and also you should never go food shopping when you're hungry because I ended up buying a whole load of snacks. I just set up the camera because I feel like I need to chat to you guys before I show you guys a little snack haul. If you're in quarantine like me, you guys will know the only thing that's getting us through the long ass days at home is snacks. Anytime I see anything new in a supermarket, I'm like, add it to my basket. These are giant Watsits, which I'm super excited about. If you're outside of the UK, Watsits are very similar to like Cheeto Puffs, but this one's in Flaming Hot. And then we've got the original cheesy one. This is so crazy. I don't like cheese, but I love cheese flavored crisps. Also, I managed to get some antibacterial wipes. These are for the floor, but you know, we can use it on other surfaces, I'm sure. Also, I have to get some kelp chips, of course. Sweet chili and sour cream. This is delicious. This is kind of like my healthy-ish snack when I'm editing. This is the Snacker Jack Smooth Caramels, like a rice cake. 
Clearly, I went shopping when I was hungry because I would never normally get Pringles. I always think of Pringles when I'm at the airport. I don't know why, and it was on sale, so I added that to my basket. I managed to get this multi-surface cleaner. This is more for like windows and stuff, I think. I don't think it's actually antibacterial, which is a bit annoying, but I really need to clean all my mirrors and stuff. This is my favorite biscuit ever at the moment. This is the digestive chocolate filled thins. Oh my God, they're so good. It's like just enough biscuit, just enough chocolate. It's scrumptious. Also managed to get tampons, which I'm so happy about. These will be like my prized possession. I literally wanted to stock up, but I didn't want to stock up and let other people go without tampons. So I just picked up one packet. And then I also managed to get some paracetamol and flu tablets just in case anything happens. That was my little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Not as fun as a clothing haul, but you know, we, we move with the times. Also, I think I'm converted to shopping at Sainsbury's instead of at Asda now, because every time I go to Asda, all their fresh fruit is just horrible and moldy. So now we've upgraded to Sainsbury's, bitch. The bougie life now. And look how juicy these grapes are. Oh my God. This grape is huge. It's bigger than my damn eye. It's so juicy. Grape ASMR. Is that a new trend? Let me know. This pile has been here since 2019, bitch. I'm gonna attempt my mighty best to organize this. It's like a volcano that's gonna erupt any second now. Okay, we have progress. Piles upon piles everywhere. We have pals here, we have pals here, we've got more pals, you get a pal, you get a pal, and you get a pal. It's 9 p.m. and I finally finished organizing my room. It started off with this little corner here, and now I've got so much more floor space. Hello? I can't believe I can actually walk on my floor. It just feels so amazing when you have a spring clean. I am still far from being a clean freak, but hopefully one day I'll get there and I'll be a tidy ass person because my ass is so messy. Oh, hello guys, who is she? She's got green eyes, she's got makeup on, her hair is did. This is not the tweet that you guys normally see. I just finished filming a couple of TikToks and an Instagram video on this look, but I wanted to close out this vlog because you guys that watch my vlogs are the real MVPs and I'm gonna open up my ex Tweely shop just for you guys. So if you are watching this, you are the ones that get first dibs. I'm gonna put the link down below in my description box if you do wanna buy yourself a little bundle of goodies. There's some really, really good products here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. In the description of the product, it says at least two items that are a premium brand that you'll get in every single package. But guys, when I was going through all my stuff, it was like 90% of it was premium products. So you're honestly gonna be getting such a good bargain. Unfortunately, it's gonna be only for the UK for now because guys, I haven't even got my shipping down yet. So if you are purchasing a bundle, I can't guarantee that is gonna be within this week or the next week that you're gonna get your package because basically Royal Mail they are being so annoying I'm trying to call them to set up a business account because obviously if I'm going to the post office I can't be sending out like 50 packages in one go because I've done that before and me and the post office woman had a massive argument and they literally hate me in there so this week that's coming up me and Grant are gonna go to the post office and we're gonna try to set up a business account so that when we go we can just drop off like 50 packages packages and then they can just do it in their own time rather than us standing there is wasting both me and the post office person's time. Just bear in mind if you are buying a package I can't guarantee that you're going to get your package really really quickly. Obviously once I get my business account with Royal Mail sorted out I can look maybe into international shipping and obviously get your orders out a lot quicker but I'm just doing this as a trial run. I'm going to be splitting the money and donating to different charities so I definitely want to look into a good charity for the NHS. I definitely want to donate to food banks around the UK and also I want to split some money into the animal shelters as well because I still miss Bruiser guys. It's been a week and not a day goes past where I don't miss him so much. I know some charities are a little bit shady so if anyone knows any really really good charities that is reputable please put it down below in the comment section and I'm definitely taking on any requests and if this is successful maybe I can hire my sister a bit more and she 
can help kind of run this but so it's not just for the meanwhile you know obviously right now i'm just doing a trial run so i'm gonna see how successful it is and if it's successful then next time i can make more packages i've only got a few for now so if you guys do want to get yourself a bundle package i'm gonna open up first to my uk followers that's watching on my vlogs and then later on i'm gonna announce it on my other social media so you guys are the first mvps anyone that watches my vlogs i appreciate you so much you guys have no idea like doing this whole youtube thing i honestly feel like no one would ever care about me or my life and i thought maybe you guys just cared about the makeup but the fact that you guys actually watch me and my day-to-day -day life and the fact that it's not perfect all the time and i just share these real moments i'm surprised that anyone cares that's it for this week guys thank you so much for all the kind messages about bruiser i still miss him so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys also a quick disclaimer just so that you guys are aware wednesday's video is going to be talking all about what it's like being an influencer i talk about money i talk about what it's like to go on brand trips the fake influencers we go in and that was pre-filmed at danny's house and bruiser made an appearance in that video as well so i hope you guys enjoyed that one it's a bit more of a longer video so if you are in quarantine we can chit chat together girl Stay inside. It's like, it's like, no, Chanel, Chanel, Chanel's running. Got this dog. She's a wild card, this one. Do you think a bird can lay its nest in here? <laughs> a bird can put their eggs in here. Guys, I don't care about the back. It's all about the front. The front is not cute either. <laughs> I, I was going to say something. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Somebody come get it, she dancing like a stripper. Coco, how do you feel about seeing Bruiser soon? <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> He's gonna put the middle finger at her, okay? I ain't go nowhere. <laughs> we want good charities, okay? Don't give us the fake, horrible ones. <laughs> yeah, your bank account. <laughs> yeah. You want a piece of this ass? You want it? You're asking for it? <laughs> You're dying for it? Oh, hello. Why is this so zoomed in? The hell? But this is the real truth, guys, okay? This is the truth! This is what Gran gets to see at night time. He still wants some of this air, though. No. <laughs>